Okay, so guys, I'm continuing on different pairs, doing some quick recordings on different pairs so that you all could kind of see what it is happening. You know, everybody's busy doing what they have to do. Um, so, okay, I see somebody comes on the call. All right, Marianne, good to have you back. Um, so right now I'm just doing some recordings to some other pairs so that I could share with the team. So while people are busy and stuff, they could, it's as though I'm there showing them different trade setups and stuff, right? All right, so I'm looking at GBP, JPY. Um, there are some longer term trades, uh, trade setups with it. But what it is I'm doing, one of the things I'm doing is uh, long, I'm focused on the shorter term trades on these calls. I'm not looking at the longer term trade. Right? So with this pair on the day chart, what we saw is that there's a, there's a correction taking place on an Elliott wave move, right, um, for this pair. So the Elliott wave is a five-point wave. It was a bearish wave, it went down, right? And this is a pattern, right? The Elliott wave, we could find it here in the, in the uh, menu here. Uh, it went down, five wave, uh, and now it's correcting. So the correction, usually it's, a, it's an ABC correction, and usually at the end of the correction, the C point is, uh, it, it must exceed the fourth point on the fourth or fifth leg of the Elliott wave. And so based on that pattern, what we're looking at here is that we're looking at, the, we are in the middle of the correction. Now, you can trade this different ways. Uh, so, I mean, if it is, you see the Elliott wave complete, uh, you're not sure if this is a seven point Elliott wave or a five point Elliott wave. So what you're looking for is you're looking for a certain behavior in order to confirm the buy, right? Now, if this was a seven point LLB, if this thing could may as well go straight down here, right, to form a six to seven leg. However, uh, what we're looking for is a confirmation of this ABC correction taking place. So, so far we have the, uh, the, zero to A leg, and then we have the A to B leg. And I was expecting it to go as low as the 618 on the Fibonacci. So I ran the Fibonacci from the fifth point of the Elliott wave to the, to the uh, A point on the ABC correction. Right, what we are seeing if we zoom in on a four hour, you're seeing that price is generally respecting this point at the 50% level of the Fibonacci, right? I have it. I have support at the thirty-two point eight, but it's really the fifty percent level. Right. So the fifty percent support. If you if you know about Fibonacci, if you don't know about Fibonacci, I'll just quickly show you. Fibonacci basically is a way to measure the percent that of a move from the previous move. And if the percentage is higher than 61.8%, what, what we are saying is that the, the probability of it being a reversal move or corrective wave is pretty high. But if it is, it's a 618 or less, we expect a continuation. So this was the previous, this was the previous move of bullish wave. And then this was a corrective wave. Anything that is in the opposite direction to the direction you are looking at or the direction the market is moving, that is a corrective wave, right? So this move here was opposite to the upward movement, the bullish movement. This was a corrective wave. You see that it tests this, this um, level a couple of times. This is, the, this is in between the 50% and the 618. Right, we see that it respected it many times from here to here to here to here to here. So it's looking like it wants to respect that area. However, you could say, all right, the respect area, you could do the buy and start buying from the entire BC leg. 
However, to be safe that we are in a bullish trend, you have to get a higher high than this previous high here. If you remember, a trend is a series of highs and lows. So you have a low here, you have a high, you have a higher low, now you need a higher high. So the only way we safely say that we are in a, in a, in a bullish trend is if we have a higher high. If we are going to have a higher high, it means that it has to pass the A point in order to achieve a higher high. And so this is why we have an entry right above the A point so that when price moves past that A point, we could then go into the buy. Now, when it goes into the buy, the C point has to be higher than the, than the fourth point of the Elliott wave. So therefore, I can put the C point just above the, 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 the fourth point of the Elliott wave to get a take profit level. I will consider this line here um, because this line here, price respected, that line is it's a it's a reversal area, so support and resistance, right? If you see it, price respected it here, it respected it here, it respected it here, right? And I show if I go further, you will see more. Look, it respected it here, it respected it here. So this line is a line to consider, and I will consider it my take profit one level, right? So in that regard, what I will do. And I'll just put a line here to show that I'm looking to take profit here first. Then I'm looking at probably here. What's looking at? Yeah, so I'm looking at this second level here. All right, this respected here, it respected here, it respected here, it respected here. So this is another level here. All right. Then my second take profit level. And then my two take profit level is all the way up here. Oh, sh all right, just above the fourth point of the of the Elliott wave, all right? So, in total, how much pips are you looking at? We're gonna four hundred and one pips, right? And we starting at. Starting at 120 pips, 120 pips take profit, right? The risk is 70 pips, right? Uh, you could, that's the risk I'm recommending. Um, you could put the risk smaller as well, or larger, but I'm seeing around 70 pips to risk. All right, so that's about it on the GBP, JPY. I will be doing more uh, recordings. Just give me a second. Let me pause so I can present more trade setup to you. By the way, this particular um, currency pair, if you look at it, this is actually a, a bearish craft pattern. I know because I did the um sorry, I did the I did the analysis before. I'm not that good to so just look at it and know it's a crap pattern. Right? So we come here with the A point here. Right. This here is a bearish crap pattern, 
So after this thing moves up like that, what we expect is for it to go back down. And it's consistent with the longer term trend. This, this GBP, GPY is in a longer term trend cell. But for now, it's ranging in this, in this range here. Right? So there is a small side support here, by the way. Sorry, side resistance here. This line here. Right? So look out for that when it's going up. But that's why I have this um, this green line as the entry, right? It's above this um, this support. I'm deleting that line. But you just need to know that this, this trend is actually a longer term sell. It broke out of a flag here and it's going down, right? So let's let's uh, I'm gonna pause and we're gonna go on to other trees that I've shown.